Okay, so here I am in St. Augustine Academy this morning, and I'm going to, while people are in assembly, I'm going to do a question on exchange rate conversions from a graph. So this is a question relating numbers of litres to numbers of gallons. And the thing to remember is that a graph has got a series of points on it that make up this line, any one of which is an exchange rate. So I'm going to choose the easiest one, which is this point here. Um, okay. So this point here ding, is actually 10 gallons. 10 gallons equals 45 litres. OK? So that's my exchange rate. For every 10 gallons, I've got 45 litres. Now, let's go to the rule. Well, first of all, Hugh wants to put 15 gallons of petrol in his car. So the rule is, what, what have you got now? Now, divided by what you used to have of the same thing, used to have, and we're going to times it by the other number in the exchange equation. Other number. There you go. So, what have we got now? Hugh wants to put 15 gallons of petrol in his car. 15 gallons. We used to have 10 gallons on the exchange rate, divided by 10 gallons. And so we times it by the other number that relates to the 10 gallons, which is 45 litres. 45 litres. So you do that. 15 divided by 10 is 1.5. And we times that by 45. And we should come up with 67.5. OK. So this answer equals... 67.5 litres. Now that gives us the number of litres from 15 gallons, but we've actually got petrol costing 120.9 pence per litre. Actually, if you look at this, this is another exchange. The exchange for this is one litre of petrol is equal to 120.9p. So you can say the same thing. What have you got now? Divide by what you used to have times the other number. How many litres have we got now? We've got 67.5. Okay, so 67.5. Divided by, well actually before, in the exchange rate we only had 1. So divided by 1. Then we times by the other number, which is 120.9b. We need to remember that when we do this, okay, what we must do is turn it into pounds at the end. So times by um, 120.9, and we're going to we get 8,160.75. 160.75. We must. That's pence. How do we convert it? We divide it by 100 to get pounds. Well, again, we could use that as conversion, but we're not going to worry too much. 81 pounds 60, and we're going to round it up to 60. Um, one. 81 pounds 60, so the 7 rounds up, so 81 pounds 67. There you go. That's another one on exchanges.